Hello and welcome to the Miller Lite Stars of TV Bowling and the Pepsi U Stars of TV Bowling. I'm Richard Skinner along with Doug Martin from Super Bowl in Erlanger, Kentucky. Glad you could be with us for our fourth weekly program. Again, we have three men, three women vying for our Miller Lite Championship and again two youth back for our Pepsi U Stars Championships. And we'll be back with our first women's match in just a moment. All right, now you see a, our first women's match, one of our first bowlers, Barb Morgan, up on lane seven here from Super Bowl in Erlanger. Richard, she uh, got probably a little uh, nervous here on that first one, yanked it uh, to the left side, leaves the one, three, nine. She's going to have to hit this in the one, three, just as you would on a strike ball to pick this up. She's throwing a uh, polyester bowling ball and uh, basically throws a straight ball. And, and chops it just like that. Came up a little heavy on the head pin on that. Didn't drive through to get the nine. Tough spare to pick up. Tough spare she left herself. And now you see Sue Rowland, who will start off on lane number eight. Sue's also throwing a polyester bowling ball. And again, you can see the deflection that time, Doug. Not a lot of hook on it. and Really, you don't get the kind of drive you do when you throw the big hook ball. And you saw that time the deflection she got. Well, that's exactly right. She throws a backup ball, and it uh, reverse hook, as it's called, uh, goes from left to right. And she did hit the pocket, but it was driving away from the five pin and, uh, and consequently left it. Let's see if she can pick this up. Well, she left herself a very makeable spare and comes away with a mark here in frame number one. So a good start for Roland, who will pick up 49 pins in handicap here in this match, and she carries a 148 average. In this match, she'll pick up six pins from Barb Morgan, who will get 43 pins worth of handicap. Always helps loosen you up if you can start the first frame with a mark. And that time she came on the Brooklyn side, which is the side she probably is shooting for with a reverse hook. It'll work better uh, from that, that angle. But uh, she was light, leaves a 5-6. Uh, tough spare to pick up. She's got to fit the ball right in between the two of them. And this just the first time on this program for Sue Rowland. Making her first appearance here on the Miller Lite Stars of TV Bowling and... Again, as Doug said, a tough spare to bring back, and she can't quite do it. Now she takes a six off. Tough break there. So now Barb Morgan, who is making her eighth appearance on this program here today, shooting for her third championship. And she threw it in the Brooklyn pocket. Uh, almost got a break on that seven pin, but it wouldn't fall. She leaves a tough split here, 5-7. They're getting off to a rough start here, Richard. A split for Roland in the second frame, and now Morgan in the second frame stares at a split and a little tougher one for her to make. Yeah, you just want to nip this on the right side of the five pin and knock it over into the seven. And she almost did it, but didn't quite have the angle on it. But it was a good try, just the same. So, two straight opens for Morgan to start this match as she trails by 15 pins. Barb Morgan who carries a 156 average and will pick up 43 pins in handicap, qualified with scores of 194, 150, and 211. All those were scratch. Looking for her first mark here in the third frame, and another tough spare for her. That ball kind of got away from her, Richard. You could see her as she uh, dropped it at the line and uh, really never had full control of it and consequently went to the uh, right side of the head pin. And and you, you can see in that shot, Doug, the amount of deflection she got. That ball went just about to where the 10 pin sits up. Yes, that's exactly right. I know something unusual here. She uh, holds the ball with her last two fingers rather than the middle two. As she goes for that spare and picks off the one and the nine, but unfortunately leaves the head or the two pin. So three straight opens for Morgan to start this first women's match. And now Sue Rowland, who opened up in frame number two, Tries to take advantage here in the third frame. 
she, and she can't oh. drive out the <laughs> nine, and she leaves a split. They're both getting some tough breaks here uh, this morning. She puts that in the pocket. It wasn't quite heavy enough, but uh, uh, for the little luck, she could have carried. But unfortunately, she leaves a seven-nine split, another uh, almost impossible one to make. About the only thing you can do is try to hit it on the right side, just barely tip it on the right side of the nine pin, hopefully drive it back and have it bounce off the sideboard into the seven. But She covers it completely yeah. with the bowling ball right there, so no chance of that. So really right now here early in the match, Doug, although Morgan has the three open frames to start out, the two splits have, have hurt Roland immensely and she only leads it by 15 pins. Yeah, she's, uh, there's only been one mark in the uh, match so far, and Sue has it, and that's given her the uh, the advantage so far. Well, let's see if she can go after another mark right here in the fourth. Well, left herself a makeable spare at least this time. Well, yeah, at least it's not a split. It's still going to be a, a tough spare. Uh, she leaves the uh, one, two, four, eight. She's going to have to, um, or I'm sorry, the eight fell out, but she leaves the one, two, four. She's going to have to hit it right in the one, two. And I, there was the eight back there. I didn't there see it, it either when I first saw it. But <laughs> it was hiding back there. It sure there, was. And it, it sure reappeared right there. And a bad break for Roland, who opens up for her third straight frame. So let's see if Barb Morgan can get off these open frames right here real quick. And she throws one way wide, and again, a tough, tough spare. Yeah, this is uh, this is a mess here. She's... Uh, She's not hitting her mark. She's not got control of the ball like she would like to have, and possibly it's uh, a little nervousness at this point. Especially when those open frames keep building up like they are. Yeah, yeah. you need to get a mark or two to kind of loosen you up and uh, get your self-confidence going. And she picks up eight of them, leaves the 5-8 standing. And again, you saw the problem with that spare she had to bring back right there. You almost have to cover it dead on that head pin and just hope for the best with the pins scattering everywhere. Yeah, that's exactly right. There you see it. Four straight opens for Morgan, but she only trails by 16 pins here in this match, so she's still in it despite the four open frames. Very unusual uh, way she holds the ball. Well, oh, she she's got a break. break on the back door. That's oh. what she needs to loosen her up. So the brakes had gone against both bowlers here in this match, and finally Morgan gets one by tripping out the four pin from the backside. So now Roland, up by 16 pins, but she sees her opponent come up with a strike and a solid five for her. She was trying to answer the call there. Uh, it was one of her better shots. Hits the Brooklyn uh, pocket, as we see there on replay. And uh, But that five, you can see where the ball deflected way to the, to the left there. Well, Good another the thing standing. I know that we talked about the backup ball and the reverse hook that it'll cause a lot of deflection. Another thing I noticed on her and I got a chance to look at is she uses a 12-pound bowling ball and uh, you can get a lot of deflection off that lighter weight ball. Well, that's, that's right. That's why uh, she picks up the spare. You want to use the heaviest ball that you can possibly handle. That's not saying that uh, you should. everybody should use a 16-pound ball because obviously uh, a lot of women and children and so forth can't handle that. But you want to handle as much weight as you can because it will drive through the pins uh, uh, better uh, than a lighter ball. We've seen that with the two 5-pins that Roland's left and probably with a little heavier weight bowling ball, she'd have carried that 5-pin out. Now working on a spare and looking to keep her lead in the match solidly there, but... Instead, the six pin jumps up at her. Yeah, she was, uh, that was one of her better shots. It was in the, the Brooklyn pocket, just a little bit tight on the head pin, as we see it here again. And uh, anytime you leave that one stick, at least in this match, it's, it's a big advantage to shooting your spare. Well, that's right. I'm sure she'd rather be looking at that than some of the splits she's had earlier in the match. And she picks that up. All right, so now Morgan, who can cut the match down to just five pins with a strike, working on one as she moves into frame number six of our first women's match. Looking for a double. Now Richard, she, uh, she's getting closer to where she wants to be. That was, uh, it was light on the uh, Brooklyn side again. Had the pin scattering, but uh, still left the three pin remaining. But uh, an easy spare for her. She should have no problem with this. I think she's kind of getting over the TV jitters here a little bit. She 
So she that. gets her first two marks in frames five and six and stays just 15 pins down in the match, but time's starting to <clears> quickly <throat> run out for her. She moves on to frame seven on lane seven here at Super Bowl at Erlanger, Kentucky. Yeah, she's running out of paper here. She's still got time to, to uh, make up that 15 pin difference, but she's going to have to start uh, getting some strikes here. And oh. another split. That was right on the nose. That's exactly where you don't want to put the ball. Uh, she leaves a real tough spare here. Four, six, seven, ten. Now she would probably want to sh try to shoot this going to the six, ten, and nip the six and drive it over into the four, seven. Tough shot, but it is makeable. And out of a little frustration, I think Doug that time really not a lot of concentration going on. Just kind of tossed it into the jail. Yeah, she uh, she really didn't. Uh, uh, spend any time concentrating on the approach there at all. So now Roland, who, if she can just stay clean here in this frame, the seventh frame will take complete control of this first women's match. And she's over on that Brooklyn side again, hits the head pin a little light, leaves that three pin again. But, uh, as long as you leave a one pin spare up there, uh, at least in this match, you got a good shot. And a chance with a mark here by Roland to take a 52-pin lead in this first match. The winner will move on to meet Bonnie Ivey in our women's championship. And she picks it up. They only leave one pin. They're not doing too badly here. Nah, it's but, it's uh, a lot easier to shoot at, no question. If they leave uh, more than that, they've got problems. Roland, who you see right there, qualify with scores of 143, 200, and 186 for a 529 scratch. And with her 147 pins worth of handicap, she qualified with a 676. And there. a big shot right there in the eighth frame for her, and that will just about seal this one up. We finally uh, see her put the ball where she want, has been trying to put it for the last seven frames, right in the 1-3 pocket. It carries out well, and uh, she's got her first strike. And again, Morgan... Barb's having having a lot of trouble. Yeah, she sure is. She's got the one, three, five, eight up there, and uh, she's going to have to hit this flush on the head pin and put this out. Let's see if she can do it. Going to give it a good run, and again, chops off a pair. A little bit too far to the right again that time. Leaves the 5-8 remaining. And uh, time is definitely running out for uh, Barbara. And I'm sure she'll take this game and safely, safely tuck it away, rather. There we see the, the score there, Richard. Got a possible 172 against the 128. Just hasn't been there for Barb Morgan. I'm sure she'd just like to rather forget this morning's <laughs> event and move on to this coming week when we qualify at Cherokee Bowl. And this Sunday's taping will be down at Bowl Lounge. But today you're watching the stars of TV bowling from Super Bowl here in Erlanger. And another tough break. She leaves uh, two standing again. Barb is going to struggle to break 100 scratch. I'm sure she's not at all pleased about that. No, I'm sure she's not. I'm sure she uh, wanted to do much better uh, on this telecast, but uh, she'll come away winning some money and uh, get some experience under her belt so she can try it again. I'm going to remind you, this is a handicap event. If you want to come out and qualify, it's 80% of a 210 scratch, so even if you have a 130 or a 140 average or a, even a 160 if you're a man come out and try to qualify and that handicap helps a whole lot well that's exactly right when we developed this tournament uh, six years ago uh, we wanted to have a tournament that would be open to all our bowlers in northern Kentucky as we see Sue pick up the spare and uh, with that 80% handicap, it does uh, it allow... great equalizer. That's exactly right. It allows everyone to have a chance to uh, shoot bowl on TV, not just the right. uh, 200 average bowlers, but, uh, but anyone can qualify with that handicap.
starting to gear herself up for the championship with Bonnie Ivy. Yeah, she's running away with this. She's uh, got a tremendous lead now. Possible 222. She can string a couple more here in the 10th. Not a bad way to start off the morning. No, especially when she sat on a pair of splits back in the second and third frames. A little bit of a slow start, but she's uh, she's got it in the groove now, looks like. Another pocket hit, a little bit light as the ball deflects to the right and leaves the 5-8. Possible 2-12 now if she picks these two up. I'm sure for the first time on TV for Sue Rowland, just happy to get this game under her belt and get the nerves out as she can move on to the championship match. So as Doug said, a 2-12 with the pickup right here for Rowland. And she's got it. So from the fifth frame on, Sue Rowland fills the paper up with marks. And now, let's see if Barb Morgan can go out in style here with three in a row. A possible 166 if she can string them. Richard, this uh, evidently is just not her morning. Uh, she's still struggling here. She never did uh, get control of the lanes. and uh, But maybe she can bring this spare back. She got another tough one. She's been looking at nothing but tough spares in this match. Yeah, she sure has. And, and enough open for her kind of epitomizes the match. And our winner here in our first women's match, it's Sue Rowland defeating Barb Morgan 212 to 145. We'll be back with our women's championship from Super Bowl right after you see this. Mm -hmm. 